Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy. Hey, Dole. I'm Eric Stromer. And uh, no matter what time of year, there is an occasion to, well, have people over and give them a cocktail. We'll have a little nip. Have a little, little something, something. A little something. And, you know, Take the edge off. and maybe you don't have a full blown bar. You don't need to have one. But how about a cute little mini bar that you can use for entertaining that is something that will be very festive? It becomes a focal point of your party. Yeah, Cute. I mean, it beats the heck out of having, like, you know, one one bottle of gin in a cabinet, and that's all you have, and someone comes over and goes, sure, I'll have a cocktail. What do you have? Well, I got this gin. Uh, <laughs> you know, you might as well get the... Ba- Listen, I was a bartender for many oh, years. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you got to have your vodka. You got to have your gin. You got to have some scotch. You got to have some tequila. You know, just some Bitters. basic stuff that's there yeah, yeah. so that you can, you know, at least... And by, by the way, I think that... Liquor bottles look beautiful if they're they displayed sure the right way. And the way they're lit. I love exactly. I love how that looks. I agree. You know? So basically, a simple liquor cabinet or bar area can just be some, some nice bottles of alcohol that, you know, maybe they sit under the part of your kitchen cabinet that you have lighting above, mm-hmm. and that's going to cascade down and, and light the bottles up a little bit. If you don't have that and you go to the next level, you could start to think about building your own bar, like having an old hutch. Love it. That you may be dedicating to having, you know, an ice bucket, yeah. shot glass, some, you know, highball, rocks glasses, wine glasses, all that stuff. So let's, let's you know, talk let's through Let's talk it. about that. So yeah. what about, a, uh, I love the, the wall-mounted little hutch cabinet. How can we how can we create that? That's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, it's essentially, um, you know, a sh- an open shelving system, and then you can have that thing, that shelving system close almost like a laundry hamper, mm-hmm. if you look at it that way, right? So maybe it's three shelves. It's a pair of shelves on the right, and then a tall area to, to have liquor bottles in that you hang on the wall. And then there's a, 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 a the lid to this box essentially folds down with chain on both sides so that it becomes a, a, a platform that you can hold your pitchers and your drinks and all yeah, that Yeah, serving stuff. area. And then when you want to put it away, you just put everything back in the cabinet and then push this thing back up and it has maybe a catch latch yes. and you're done. And that's a very simple rudimentary way to do it. And it's cute and it's out of the way and it's yeah. something that any of us could have in a very small space. That's exactly right. You know? Yeah. What about if we wanted to take this to the next level? I mean, maybe it's uh, a table that you cut in half and you bolt it to the wall. Sure, maybe just have, you know, 12 or 14 inches of that table sticking out as yeah. if it were shooting through that wall. Like an right? invisible table exactly. almost. Exactly, and then you're just adhering that to the wall with drywall anchors, uh, and then, you you know, you can have that be your, your bar. It looks really, really cool, and that's a good thing to do if you're, you know, at a flea market or a garage sale. You see a table that looks kind of cool, but it's not that great. You're not going to replace your dining room table, but think about maybe what if we cut 12 inches, keep the two legs on the one end of it, and put that against the wall, that can become our bar. And then use the other half maybe as a, I don't know, a lap, laptop or, <laughs> yeah, fire. <laughs> or, or firewood. Or yeah, give it to Peter give Montoya, our engineer, yeah. who takes it to the beach and burns there it. There you go. Yeah. And you can give it a nice coat of paint, yeah. and then you could all, you all have enough space then if you wanted to hang your, your glasses beneath the top shelf. Oh, sure, yeah. A couple of wood, you know, wood dowels that, that you know, are about the a little thicker or a little wider than a wine glass stem so that you can slide the base of the wine glass into it and then they hang down. Yeah, those, that's a cool look. I always remember growing up, um, going to my best girlfriend's house and they had, her parents had a bar in a closet. It's a good idea, actually. And they would open up this these these doors, and then there was a mirror on the wall and shelves, and, the, and it was all lit, and yeah. there was a little refrigerator. I mean, you could kind of come up with a little thing like sure. that. Sure. I mean, if you have a closet that you're really not using that much, you can take the guts of the closet out, build a little cabinet, on a base cabinet underneath, even go as far as to plumb a little sink in there. Oh. And then have, like you said, mirror in the back and then uh-huh. glass shelves, and that's a great opportunity to light with either puck lights that you can buy, uh, you know, or you can wire lights, hard wire lights that cascade either up or down through the shelves to light up those liquor bottles. It looks great. No, I think that, I, I agree with you. I think that the bottles, they're so gorgeous, the different shapes of them. 
In fact, I've seen in some restaurants um, where you turn a liquor bottle into a lamp. I mean, yeah. they look they look really pretty. Yeah, you know, they do. They the do. Colors. They do. Uh, you know, opaque glass shelving. Mm-hmm. You know, so that you get this real even light, and it just highlights the bottle, and you see the the liquid, and it's great. What about going very retro? Um, and you know, old TVs are so hip right now, turning yes. them into storage of all kinds. Sure. What about take the guts out of the TV and just yeah. keep the screen that and the, take the glass out of it. <clears throat> and then you can actually light that as well. And, you know, that can be the liquor cabinet if you can find one of these old TVs. But I mean, these things go quickly at flea markets because people yeah. are starting to really, you know, see images from Pinterest and stuff. Uh-huh. And Mad Men. And- like I've seen... Aquariums and um, yes, yes, you know, liquor pets, bottles, like pets. for cat yeah. beds, dog beds. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, these like especially like a 1960s TV that has the old stands and the dials and it has a nice mahogany frame. I mean, uh, could you remember we'd actually have to get up and turn the channel? Remember yeah. that? <laughs> oh, how exhausting! Wait a minute, let me let me move my TV tray. Yeah. Now I got to walk across yeah. the room and click the channel to the right, right to go to the third channel that's only available for us. Or remember, remember? when TV when there was nothing on and yeah. it would go to the Indian. Yeah, remember that? The Indian chief, right, you know, right. and it would just be the color bars, you know, with the static. Yeah, yeah. What about if you just had, I mean, another great mini bar solution is just for a small apartment, clustering wine racks and shelves. So it's almost like floating shelves. Yeah, yeah, like those lac shelves that attach, you know, either with dowels to the wall or you can just screw them in with drywall anchors. But, you know, you could have three or four different like two foot lengths by you know eight or 16 inches paint them white and attach them to the wall liquor bottles on one wine bottles on their side on another cute you know your 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 rocks glasses and mixing you know shakers, shakers and, and all that stuff on another it's it's really cute and then of course top it off with uh, a little chalkboard uh, framed picture that you can just write yeah. you know, cheers or, or you know it's cocktail hour. Yeah, or uh, margaritas five dollars <laughs> so that people just can't don't think they can just come and get stuff for free. No. Yeah. Well that, uh, that you've already kind of leveled the bar that it's a five dollar margarita. That, it's that, high quality. Thank you. That's yeah. exactly right. Um, what about using one of those kitchen carts too? Oh yeah yeah into a little mini bar. That's a great idea. And that can be moved in or outside if you need it to be. And uh, again you'll find some great stuff at flea markets, antique stores, girls garage sales. Think about next time you're out and about looking at these things. It may not necessarily work as a, as a kitchen table or an organizer, but some of these could be spray painted vibrant colors and they can become bars for you. Very, very easy to do. And really, I think that having a little moving bar is so great. You little know, cart. It's very, very great. Have you ever seen using a library card catalog? No. As a bar. I mean, if you can find one of these, because, you know. How cool is that? The old Dewey Decimal System, Oh, and right? you use the drawers to hold the bottles on You put the bottle side. in each of those drawers. Well, Isn't that neat? That's cool. Yeah. I've always wanted to have one of those. Those are so cool. They are. It's kind of like having those old school desks. That's you it. Know? Yeah, it's that's very right. retro. That's right. Um, uh, what about also turning um, one of those Ikea carts that they come in like an aluminum, um, and it's on wheels, or at least has a couple of wheels, and you now kind of transform that. Well, you're almost your... like a flight attendant. <laughs> now you're walking around <laughs> with a car, you know, excuse me, excuse me, watch your leg, please. Watch right, your leg. right. Can I get you either water or nothing? Yeah. Have and you it's... flown lately? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's they're going to charge than, you. Every week I fly, it's a different, it's, it's worse than it was before. I, I know. know. What, are you gonna what do? about turning your, your finest liquors into a dazzling display where basically it's a floating bar and you fill in the gaps between cabinets? And, That's cool. And yeah, now, using plywood, yes. right, and cut it at an angle, and you actually reveal the layers of the plywood. It's really. That's a great look. It's very architectural very looking, isn't so. it? Yeah, anyway, so many fun ways that you can... I mean, what about even turning an old wagon, that classic red wagon, and just having that almost like as a tray. Sure. And you have that on top of That's just of an one old, step up from a lemonade stand. Well, and on top of sewing machine base. Oh, that's cool, And now cool it's too. very retro and vintage. Anyway, all these will go on our website, as always, yourhomewizards.com. And until next time, remember this, the key is under the mat. Bye-bye. I was in the vault.